Good morning, good morning, family. How is everyone doing on this awesome, awesome Ten Tasting Party Thursday? Yes, it is. Here we are, family. One of the best days of the week. It's the very beginning of a new work week for here at Team of the Network. As you know, yesterday was Wednesday. It was payday, so those who went out and shared what we're doing with Ten was rewarded through payday. But that payday begins every Thursday. So this is the beginning of your week. What are you going to do? Are you going to make it count? Are you getting out there? And are you sharing the wonders of these 10 vitamin sprays and the difference that they are making in everyone's life? I sure hope you are. Well, you are down into the team effort lifestyle call where you will hear things that will move you from facts to faith to action. Family, the line is open. Introduce yourself. Call out your name. Where are you calling in from? Tell me what you in And I had to use those sprays to warm up. We were 28 degrees last night. Now, you know we froze. <laughs> <laughs> 28 degrees. I know those sprays did the job, didn't it? <laughs> no, they did. I'm talking to you now. I had to use the sprays first. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we got those sprays, right, Selma? <laughs> you, know, you know, Selma, Selma, I had to pull out my cell energy this morning. Girl. I had to pull it out in a little chilly here in the nation's capital. I so got to pull out that cell energy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do without those sprays. I, just, I feel sorry for the folks. They still frozen, you know. Uh-uh. You know what, Pastor Denise and Delva, I got a tip for y'all, Pastor Denise. Everybody on the East Coast with that cold weather, let me tell y'all, this is a tip from Samantha coming from Northern California. Now, I want y'all to get this. Take your salad, y'all, and your B-Boo spray it and put on some James Brown and get to dancing. You're going to warm up. All right, All right. All right. I got <laughs> All right, Samantha, you don't, you don't get any cold weather in California. We know when it gets 60 degrees there, you say it's cold. Oh, look, I don't live out there. I don't live on the East Coast now. My dad from the East Coast. So I don't live out there. Look, I wish I had cell energy. I had the James Brown, but not the cell energy. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, oh thank you, Samantha. Thank you, sweetheart, for that joy. Come on, Sammy. What, what is this for? Introduce yourself. Where are you calling in from? Jerome and Renee in the house. Woo! Sheila, Sheila, Matt, Duffy, Van Merlin. Hey, Miss Sheila. Sheila, thank you. Well, welcome to Amos and Jose, California. Good morning. How are you? Woo! Good morning, Sam. How are you? Is that California calling in? Excellent, excellent. Oh, good to hear you this morning. How's it going? I'm from Marlboro's in the house. Welcome, welcome to the house. Jerome and Renetta. Jerome and Renetta in the house. Hey, Jerome. Hey, Renetta. <laughs> Come on, family. Keep it coming. Lord, Mr. 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 Anderson, Bowie Mallard. Woo, Anderson. Go get him, man. Keep it coming, family. Great well. It's Lenny, Michigan. Michigan's in the house. Welcome, welcome. Richard Tavern of Manassas, Virginia. Woo, Richard, all right, but NASA's on the map, y'all. NASA's on the map. Welcome, welcome, Richard. Welcome, Mr. Merlin. Mr. Showtime. All right, Mr. Showtime. All right, Mr. Showtime in the house. I think I heard Mr. L.A. Anderson in there, too, eh? L.A. <laughs> <laughs> and you know L.A.'s right here. All right, L.A. All right, man. What's going on? L.A. Nine is super excited about today. You know, it's going to be an awesome meeting, an awesome call this morning. Awesome PCP. I, mean, I just can't wait for the night. I'm just super excited, and I've been spraying. Uh-oh, you've been spraying. Watch out, world. Watch out, world. L.A. Nine has been spraying, and he's going to move. Welcome, welcome. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. He's been spraying, and he's on the move. Watch out. That means it's going to be packed tonight. The TTPs tonight are going to be packed, packed, packed. You know what, family? You better find out where there's a TTP in your area. And guess what? If there's not a TTP taking place in your area, I'm a triple double dare you. You ever triple double dare? Remember you was in kids, they would triple double dare you. I'm a triple double dare you. So throw a TTP yourself. Ooh, ooh. So 
are just been served. If you're not going to a TTP tonight, if you don't know where one is being served, uh, uh, one is being held, I'm going to triple double dare you to have your own step out on faith, schedule it right now. So you get off this call, start calling your guests and set up a TTP tonight. I guarantee you will not regret it. Now, you've just been served. I'm going to stop right here and bring up my business partner. Pass it down. Wait for you there, sir. I'm here. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Well, you know, you got to get those TTPs out there because that's the uh, bread and butter of our business is getting people in front of the presentation so that they can see what you saw. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, we can't, we don't do a better, we don't do anything better than, uh, getting people in, in, in seats and getting them before presentation. So you definitely want to get into a TPP or you want to host one and let people come out and see it. So, uh, LA seems like he's a little excited today. It seems like he's a little pumped up today. Who, who are you talking about? These twins? Who are you talking about? LA. Me? LA. Oh, LA. LA is not on the guest line. LA, LA just must have, he must have got excited this morning. Now, he was, I think he's down in at 1030. He's been sitting on the phone since 1030. <laughs> 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 hey, look, twin, as you know, I'm going to turn this over with you and our guest for today. Uh, so I'm pulling out. So this is, uh, you and Mr. Paul Jackson are going to take this out for today, okay? There we go. All right. See you, family. Let's Love you go. Guys. All right. Well, hey, listen, we're going to bring on our guy, Mr. Paul Jackson. Paul, are you with us today, sir? Yes, sir. I am here. Can you hear me? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, I have to tell you, I feel good. Like I knew that I would. And uh, <laughs> the songbirds, <laughs> Samantha, yeah, you get warm with James Brown real quick. But uh, it's a terrific, <laughs> tantalizing Thursday morning. And the sun is really radiating here in Maryland. I'm feeling really turned on and tenacious with anticipation for the forthcoming uh, TTP tonight, which will be bringing new business associates as well as new families members into our 10-family culture. So I'm filled with anticipation, really excited. we got people coming out tonight. And uh, it's going to be off the hook. Well, you know, Paul, uh, you know, when you introduced me at these TTPs, you seem to have my schedule pretty down, you know, uh, <laughs> you know where I've been and where I'm going. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, You've been keeping it busy. You've been keeping it busy, brother Pastor. You've been north, south, east, and west, and heading out to the hey. west come December. Exposure, so exposure, December. exposure. we got to get as much exposure as we possibly can. But you know you've been pretty busy too, man. You've been, uh, you know, you know, up in North uh, New Jersey, and uh, you down over here in, in Maryland doing, uh, you know, blitz, um, blitz TTPs. Uh, tell us, tell us, yeah, tell us a little bit about, tell us a bit, what about the little bit about the activities that's been going on with you and and uh, what you've been doing. Well, things have been moving right along. Uh, first, I want to give you proper acknowledgement as well as uh, Pastor Denise. I appreciate you having me on the Lifestyle Call this morning. It's always a privilege and an honor to uh, be able to share with our Ken family. And I did want to say that you have my schedule pretty good, too. So we've been following each other. I, I, I try to duplicate success. I try to duplicate those that just don't talk it but walk it. And uh, you are doing that, and you're doing it in a big way. So I've collaborated with uh, executive founding member Jesse Bowling, and he has a phenomenal group over in Virginia. We took some exposure up to New Jersey, and we traveled up there one Saturday, and that was a real joy and a real experience to reinvigorate uh, people up there in New Jersey. But we've been going around. Uh, there's a new gentleman that's coming to our business, Apostle Ernest Quick. He's the uh, minister of his church. And he has allowed us to come in there and do presentations and share this business with people in his congregation. He brings a lot to our families. Um, I had last week uh, participated in a blitz that was put on by Sabrina Fields and her sister Samantha. Um, that went marvelously well. Uh, people were impacted with information. They embraced the product. And they made commitments to come out to the TTP tonight, which I am anticipating that. So things have been fine. Well, well, Paul, before you move from, 
before you move on from there, uh, uh-huh. tell us what, what tell us uh, for those who don't know that blitz. What 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 was the blitz? What was that about? And uh, how did you oh, guys okay. do that? Okay, yeah, I'd be glad to. Uh, basically, what we wanted to do was draw people in to the opportunity, this opportunity of a lifetime. But we perceive that by giving some some perspective on the company that provides support and that it offers us this phenomenal opportunity. We give them insights to the company, uh, why the financial backing is what it is, why we're not here today, gone tomorrow, that we have a cutting-edge product that impacts health and wellness. And basically what we put out there is we're looking to expand operations from the West Coast to the East Coast. We're looking to develop executives with our company. The enticement is 300 to 2,000 a week on the low end, and it carries two six-figure income in our compensation plan. And it's also accompanied by three luxury car bonuses, but you only have three choices, and you can pick BMW, Mercedes, or Tesla. So it's a real enticement for people, especially with the holidays forthcoming and going into a new year. It's a big enticement. So we put on a blitz, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 6 o'clock, so that people would have a time frame that would suit their schedule and that they could tie into. And we have participation in each of these six blitzes. And I collaborate with my niece as well as my sister-in-law, Sheila, billionaire, training, Taylor, along with Sierra. And it was phenomenal. And the people responded. They're coming out tonight. They embraced the product. And there were some heavy hitters there. And if I could digress just a little bit, there was one gentleman there who was in the 1% income earning bracket. And I would say that whenever you do one of these blitzes or presentations, we have to keep in mind our audience, people that's receiving this information. Well, this gentleman had distinguished himself in the business realm. And I wasn't privy to that, nor was Tierra. But he made that known to us after the presentation. And he interjected that he didn't really need the opportunity as great as some of us might. But his focus was health and wellness, and he was there for his family and his mother and father. Well, he apprised me later on what his holdings were, the fact that he was assistant vice president at a bank in St. Lucia. Uh, I mean, you know, he has impressive credentials. But I would say to those that's listening, these are the type of people you want to talk to. People who may not necessarily need it, but carry influence that have the respect of people that can connect you with people that you need to reach. And long story short, he came to the conclusion that he would position his grandson and his nephew with this business and allow them to leverage the network and position himself in front of them, even though the money is not his focus. He wants to create a legacy for them and put them in position where they have choices. So it went really well. Uh, James Brown is his name. So, Matt, if you're still listening, (laughs) that brother feels good, too. And uh, I know he would, especially after what he shared with me. Back to you, Brother Pastor. Well, you know, that's what this business is about, is, uh, you know, getting people into these meetings and exposing them to what we do. And uh, as you said there, you know, you, you never know who's coming to the, to the to the to these meetings. And you don't know what uh, qualities they bring with them, what the experiences that they bring, uh, nor uh, do you know uh, the visions and passions and desires that they have. And uh, And so getting these people to these meetings where they can actually see uh, you know, not only our product and our opportunity, but the people who are involved in our company. You know, we have some very quality people that's involved in our company, uh, and uh, we have some uh, uh, passionate people that's the, that, that's a part of our company. So when you get them in, in this setting, you know, they get a chance to see the full picture of what we're presenting. We're not just presenting a company on paper. We're not just presenting a product uh, that is in the imagination of, of Mel and Amy Gill. We're actually presenting product that we have testimony that works. We actually present a compensation plan that's changing people's lives uh, and has been doing so for over 12 years. And you're also presenting 
the opportunity for them to connect with people, genuine people uh, that love what they're doing and love changing lives. And that's the synergy I think is uh, is what's really needed. You know, I do one-on-one meetings with people, and uh, people have me come out and, hey, Pastor, can you do one-on-one meetings? Can you do a three-way call? Things of that nature. And all of those things are good. We need to do those. Those are all a part of our business. But I really, uh, I really like getting people out to PPPs, you know, because there's less work you have to do, you know. Uh, when you got the synergy, you got the excitement, you got the people, you got all of these things going on. They, that's a, that's a level of influence that the person experiences that you just can't experience sitting across from the table, uh, one on one, and going through a slides of this company. I find that we close more deals with people in TTPs than we do from the cross to cross table. It seems like it takes a little longer, maybe two or three more steps that you have to do. Uh, when you're doing somebody just, you know, one-on-one across the table. Uh, would you agree, Paul? Sir, you were most eloquent, and you were right on in capitalizing the features that will, that makes this opportunity so distinguishing. And you were right on with that. Uh, there's nothing like synergy that's created. Uh, doing one-on-ones are nice because you get to establish a contact and build an acquaintance and cultivate an acquaintance. But when you have a synergy that emanates in the room from other people who come, some might be looking, some are a little perplexed. They don't really know why they're there. They're there as a favor to someone else. And then some people have a genuine uh, response to the product information and how that can change the challenges that they deal with as well as their family members. So in a TTP setting, and because it is in the home, it is most conducive to cultivating business relations because it takes the formality out of it. It takes and brings in interaction, interconnection with people. And there are people who listen that may not be doing a lot of talking, but they receive an impact from what they see, what they hear, and how do people make them feel. And I think that is the essence of uh, the TTP and the power that's in having the TTP. So I want to thank you again, and Pastor Denise for for providing the venue where we can grow our business, where we can make the connections, and we can develop our 10 family culture, but most importantly, expand our 10 brand. You know, you were very important to me in that you raised my consciousness about the brand, how we all win by expanding our brand. See, Coca-Cola and Starbucks, they won't have much on us in a little while because we're going to get out there and we're going to be in all these homes throughout America as well as around the world. We're going to impact the planet, and that is expanding the 10 brands. So I want to thank you for raising my consciousness. I pass this on to my people, everybody I can come in contact with. You want to get 10 out there. You want to start a rumor. You know, you may not embrace this business for anybody that's listening, but you will be enticed, you will be intrigued, you will be drawn in, and you're going to talk to people about it. And when we can get you to put it out there, that expands our brand. People want to know, what what is this tent I, I, I keep hearing about? And what is this I hear about all these phenomenal vitamin sprays? I hadn't heard anything about vitamin spray until people come to me with 10. Uh, if I could, without taking up too much time, I'd like to acknowledge what I feel would be my theme for today. And you alluded to that earlier when you talked about the culture. We come into this business being drawn by the financial aspect of it, how we can enhance our financial position. Some of us respond to the product and how that can impact us and our family members as far as overcoming the challenges that we have to our health. But I want to speak to the 10 culture. Since I've been in this business, that has been the benefit that I didn't anticipate. The relationships, the unexpected benefit, and the bigger impact that that had on me, my wife, 
my team members, and those that have come into my circle. Uh, you and Pastor Denise, as well as uh, Mr. Sam Gill, Amy and Mel, are at the top of the list. I didn't know you or these people before I came into this business. These are the quality of people that you want around your families, your friends. The money's good, but money without quality people, people of integrity and morality to share and interact with, the gratification is not the same. When you're talking about family, you, I, I know I shouldn't go down this road because whenever you start calling names, you leave people out. And I want those that's listening, if I didn't mention you, please charge it to my brain, not my heart. Um, there have been people on this lifestyle call that have impacted me locally as well as globally. Uh I know I shouldn't go down this road, but why I have breath, I'm going to. My brother from another mother, and soon to be one star, Mr. Robert Smith. I love the brother. Um, Apostle Quick, Pastor Quick, uh, and people in his church have impacted us. He's just an old country boy. Uh, Miss Vicky Tukar Soto. Miss Melissa Workerbee Honeybee. Dr. Anita Poole, bringing professional, professionality, and medical insights. Miss Nakisha Bond, sewing into us every Monday morning with her training, enhancing our business daily. Mr. Kevin, the son, Bond. Son in that he emanates energy, passion, and exuberance. Uh, I got to say that there are people like my sponsors and my senior business partners, uh, Renetta and Jerome, who've impacted us greatly, as well as Mike and Linda McLean. Uh, they've been very, very big in providing the support and the leadership to our team. Uh, Pastor Don Joseph, I'll be on the West Coast, and my sister, the songbird, Samantha Richardson. She sets the tone every morning when she calls in. She has a song in her heart. And she's overcome phenomenal challenges. I know her story. And my sister-in-law and my niece, Sheila Taylor McDuffie and Tierra, they've impacted this business in a big way, along with Showtime. So on your bridges. Let's go, let's go. L.A. Anderson, Sabrina. I mean, the list is long. And if I can conclude by saying this, that there are people at corporate, like Mr. Robert Hickens, uh, I think of him and his loss, but he has impacted this business on a corporate level, and uh, our interaction with him has been rewarding and gratifying, as well as uh, my brother from another mother, Mr. Curry Whiteness, who gives unselfishly by recording these calls on a daily basis. He has been phenomenal, as well as Pat and Ed Lowe, the North Carolina Connection, Cheryl Church. I mean, the list is long. All these people have poured into me, have infected me with their enthusiasm, their commitment to build this business, and have impacted us to make it believable that we really can realize what it is we're striving to attain. So I want to thank everybody on this call, on the Luxury Lifestyle call. Every morning, we get perspective, we get belief, we get enforcement and reinforcement as far as the products are concerned. And if one last thing, I'll give it back to you, Brother Pastor. The products are remarkable. I talk about the products whenever I'm at the TTT. I try to do the best I can to convey to the listening audience that the reason why these products are so phenomenal, the reason why they've done what they've done is allowing people to reclaim their lives it's because of the remarkable quality nutritional ingredients that's in the product. We have a choice. We can go to man's pharmacy, which are pharmaceuticals, which carry side effects, or we can embrace nutraceuticals, which provide nutritional impact and provide side benefits. It's our choice. But 
information is the only thing that's going to empower someone to make the proper choice. We have to not depend on doctors to take care of us. We have to become proactive, and we have to put ourselves in a position where we can embrace what is beneficial for us as well as people we care about so that we can realize and live the life that my father, my creator, had endowed in us. It is our right not to be sick. It is our right to prosper. And scripturally, and I know you know this better than I do, Brother Pastor, somewhere in scripture it says we should impact our grandchildren's grandchildren. And that's a charge that we have. And if you believe that, then we have an obligation to not do this for ourselves, but leave a legacy for our family. My father had a grand, had his father, who was my grandfather, he passed broke on to me. I mean, he passed broke on to my father, who passed broke on to me. There were no leaves of inheritance on my tree. The, tram, the family tree was like all the wind had blown off the leaves. Nothing was on the tree. But broke stops with me. And I have to do what I have to do to make it happen, not for myself, but for the legacy and what I'm charged to leave behind. Okay, back to you, my brother. Pastor Dale, you still there? I'm here, man. That, that, that was awesome. You know, you know, Paul, you know, you named all of these people who have been an influence, who have been a blessing in your life. And it just goes back to what we were saying earlier about how this, this business changes people's life. But it brings us into contact with people that we probably would have never met in our life. You know, uh, uh, you know, we, we are in the same area, uh, Paul, in this, this DMV, yeah, you know, DC, Maryland and Virginia, you know, you live in Maryland. I live in, I live in DC. Um, uh, uh, but we probably would have never met, you know, we've had, you know, I hadn't met you. I've been, I've been here 20 years. I hadn't met you so far. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, we probably would have, would have never met, but, uh, I know my life has been improved and it's been made the better as a result of our connecting. And I hope the same has, has, has been for you. Uh, yes, sir. So just think about the, you know, the lifelong friendships and things that you made. You, you, made. you mentioned Nikisha, a uh, birthday girl, I had a birthday yesterday. Uh, Nikisha, you know, um, I would have never met Nikisha. Nikisha is in, you know, she's in California and uh, probably would have never met Nikisha Bond. But I have met her, and she has been such and such an influence in my life, you know, as a result of that. And I just believe that these are friendships uh, that you will keep, you know, as a result of coming into this business. And, you know, uh, people go on. I mean, there's people have gone on to other businesses, gone on to other things, and gone on to done everything, other, other things. But uh, we're still connected as a result of being, you know, invited to connect here at this business here called Tent. So that's the lifestyle. You know, when you talk about the tel tel call, the team effort lifestyle, that's the lifestyle, the lifestyle of connecting with people that makes your life better, connecting with people that have the same dream and vision, aspiration of the same uh, company that you're a part of. Those things are what you live, uh, what you live for. Those things remain the same forever. Closing words, Paul, and we're going to kick it over to our our, uh, our quote for the day from Dr. Nita Hill. Yes, sir. I, I have one thing that I would like to close with. I was remiss in not acknowledging your first lady, Diane. Uh, she's a loving lady. She's very giving. And she has sold into us, my wife and I, as well as my team. And I wanted to give proper acknowledgement to her because a lot of times we hear about Pastor Dale, but she is behind the scenes. And I also want to say this to you, and this is for you and your son, Derek. Uh, that young man, being as young as he is, I've watched you and your son because I wasn't fortunate to have a son. I love my daughters, all three of them. But when I look at you, And Derek, I see the pride that you have for your son. I see the love that he has for his father. 
He's a young businessman that's going to be big in this business. There's a statement that one makes the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Seeing that brotherhood and that son relationship, that that father son relationship, uh, I, I, I admire that. I envy that. So my 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 uh, compliments to you and your phenomenal son. Back to you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Paul Jackson. Uh, just an exciting, always excited to have you on this tell and 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 help us direct. And you know, you like a uh, you like a father in the business, man. Uh, someone who can impart wisdom and counsel uh, to the next generation and for those who are, those who are in our own generations who are striving for to striving dreams fulfilled and their passions. Uh, accomplished here through this business. So, again, thank you so much for joining us on the tail call and looking forward to having you again next time. Uh, all the way over to uh, the UK, uh, Dr. Anita Poo, are you with us today? All right, then we're going to Atlanta. <laughs> okay. All right, one star. Are you with me today? One star. Absolutely, Pastor Dale, Paul Jackson, how you guys doing? Wow. wow. Great, my brother. Doing oh, Good man, time. incredible. Well, Paul and Pastor Dale, I want to send it back to you guys ten times. Everything you said today, just multiply it by ten today, guys. I am so honored. That's what the business is all about, guys, is you guys. And uh, without a doubt, Paul and Pastor, you guys have definitely impacted my life. I want to get that out to you and let everybody know. You guys have influenced me each and every day. Thank you for all you do, and we just thank God for the friendship, uh, for the leadership that you guys have, for the passion of life, and, of course, the, server, the servant uh, heart, if you will, for serving others in this wonderful company we call Ten. Mel and Amy Gill and, and Mr. Gill, thank you so much for all those listening around the world. Thank you. Uh, it's just an honor to be with you guys today, Pastor. Just incredible. This is why we're in the business I'm getting ready to sign up again myself today just for that, what you guys said today. I'm excited about that. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, you guys ready for some awesome quotes today? Oh, yeah. Just, uh, oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's hey, go, one let's thing, go. too, Pat. Hey, man, one thing, Paul and the uh, pastor and everybody, I wanted to share with everybody because Paul and the pastor hit on some things today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please understand you're in the right place at the right time. This is the best company on the planet. Top marketing companies, ladies and gentlemen. These are top marketing companies that I hear that are uh, advertising and on internet and radio and so forth and sales, they say the most important part of marketing or building a brand is the people. Please understand the people come first. The money will follow. Ladies and gentlemen, take care of your people, surround yourself with people that are going to move you forward and that are moving forward. And guess what? The business and the compensation plan will be paying out itself the way it should. But the bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, top marketing people talk about focusing on people. The rest will come. Don't focus on the comp plan. Don't focus on the money because it will come. Focus on the people. Change your lives, and the money will come. I just wanted to share that with you guys because you, this is amazing what we're doing in 10 because we are focusing on the people first and moving forward second. And believe me, everything will follow. Hey, let me give you some great quotes to today, guys. These are the ones that move me each and every day. Uh, I got to get excited myself. As you can imagine, ladies and gentlemen, I do that through these, some of these quotes and what you guys are telling us each and every day. The first quote, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'm going to mention this in honor of our five sprays that we have. I want to mention this five times. Remember why you started. Remember why you started. Remember why you started. Remember why you started. Remember why you started, ladies and gentlemen. That's our first quote of the day. Our second quote of the day, ladies and gentlemen, comes from Miles Monroe, another powerful teacher and trainer, you know, just transitioned into another area of his journey, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, just recently. But Miles says, the secret to a full and fulfilled life is discovery, understanding, and application of the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's Miles Monroe, a powerful young man that uh, moved on uh, from us, ladies and gentlemen. But we look forward to seeing him one day again. The third quote of the day, ladies and gentlemen, comes from another awesome Mr. Valentine. He says, we need to awake the love sleeping within us 
before we awaken love in the other people. I love it. I love that one. Just an awesome one. Our next quote of the day comes from Mr. Leon Brown. He says, life is taking you somewhere. Listen to the messages. They will repeat until you follow their call. These are the calls that you hear each and every day, ladies and gentlemen, on a network. Just listen, 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 and then take powerful action on the areas that you hear for your life. The last quote of the day, Pastors and Paul, is very exciting. I hope you guys hear this one and feel this one. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. That's what I heard from Pastor Dale several weeks ago. It's going to be worth it. Hang in there, ladies and gentlemen. You will win. Back to you guys. Love you guys. Awesome. Love you, too. Thanks, One Star Kevin Vaughn, Atlanta. Appreciate you, man. Uh, always giving us some great stuff. Uh, just quick uh, updates real quick, guys. Uh, we have, um, don't forget the um, uh, the 24-hour recorded call. It's going well. We get a lot of people on every day here. Uh, that number is uh, is uh, 605-475-4099, 605-475-4099, the code 102-3872-POUND, and then press POUND again, 102-3872-POUND, and POUND again. That's a 24-hour recorded call. You can get people on anytime that you like. Don't forget, we're wrapping up the um, uh, executive founder promotion here in November. Uh, if you've gotten one, on, one person on the left, one person on the right, uh, and take them both to executive uh, between November 1st and November 30th, you'll get the honors of standing uh, at our, our uh, upcoming event uh, here next year, our one-year celebration in Las Vegas as an executive founding member of this company with a $1,000 check in your hand. So let's wrap it up. Those guys who are close, uh, just a few more days to get that thing done, get it locked up, all right? And don't forget, if you're in the Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio area, uh, Vicky Soto and the Thoroughbreds are going to be hosting a Super Saturday, Saturday uh, that is going to include your tr- yours truly. Uh, I'll be with them Saturday, December 6th at 11 a.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn uh, at the Indianapolis Airport. Uh, so <clears throat> you want to get your people there. It's going to be an amazing time. Looking forward to meeting that team. I've had, I've, I've never been to Indiana. Uh, and, uh, well, not for any, uh, meetings. I've been through Indiana, but, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to going to Indiana and meeting that team, uh, helping them to, uh, grow their business, get more people excited about the business. And you know what happens when we fly in and do Super Saturdays, when we fly out, the report is teams just blow up. The amazing thing happens after that. People get excited. They go out and build their business and build it strong. So December 6th, at the Hilton Garden Inn in Indianapolis Airport. Uh, we'll be there. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining on, us on the call today. Look forward to wrapping this week up tomorrow with some ex- exciting guests. Uh, uh, ex- uh, get, your feeds, get your people along through the cause. Get those seats in there and get them before presentation. It will change your life and theirs. Thank you so much for joining us. Love you, appreciate it, and we'll see you on tomorrow.